Welcome back to the GSL. This is Tasis and Artosis. And uh, we just saw a pretty awesome uh, series back there. 2 0, but still pretty exciting. You know, Bo, you, I don't know if these guys can be stopped. Maybe I'm a little not. worried. I got to say, they really have good mental conditioning, especially this yeah. Choya kid. He's talking about how nervous he is, and he really puts a lot of thought into it and how to make himself less nervous. Things like sure victories. Things like talking to himself in the booth because he's seen other pro gamers do this to calm himself down. And that's actually a huge part to being a pro gamer is the mental right. aspects. A lot of people lose because of themselves, not because of their opponents. That's so, very true. Uh, I really, I was quite charmed by his answers in that interview, Tasteless. Those are good answers, actually. Mm. Um, you know, it, a lot of it is about conditioning. You know, it's funny, actually, uh, on, on that note that you are saying that. I remember um, watching... Uh, Guillaume Patry, when he first started playing StarCraft 2, and one of the things I noticed, it was different from him and other people that were playing. And if you guys don't know who Guillaume Patry was, he was the original best uh, StarCraft 1 player. And he played random. Is that he talks to himself hmm. while he's playing the game. He talks what, what he thinks about the unit. He just kind of says it to himself. Yeah. Not, not like he was talking to me. I was, you know, I was playing next that's, to him at his apartment. But I was like, I was thinking to myself, Oh, that's actually probably a really good way to learn. That That Talk is actually very true. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why the Korean scene always seems to pull ahead of the non-Korean scenes because the non-Koreans are scattered about and they don't actually talk the game over. When you talk right. something out, talk it over. That's why they say teaching something is the best way to learn it. Because right, right. when you say it out loud, it, it reasons out in your mind. So really interesting stuff there. But let's talk about our players. This is Destination, the Terran player. Uh, not on any team yet. Uh, don't really have a whole lot of information on him. He likes to use medevacs um, a lot, and he's pretty confident against Protoss, which is too bad because he's against a Zerg. Yep. He uh, is not crazy about the map Scrap Station, um, and unfortunately that's our first map. And he was really hoping to get a map, um, a game on Zelnaga Caverns, but uh, we don't have that. So For like destination. the first time ever. Yeah, yeah no kidding. <laughs> I think I have to make a wish when I don't cast a game on Zelnaga Caverns. <laughs> it's a pretty rare and unique thing. But, um, you know, you never know. Some of these new guys turn out to be the best of all. Just because they're not known doesn't mean they're not good. And of course, not being known is going to be quite the opposite of our other player. Yeah. But we're going to get a shot of in a minute here. Warcraft 3, top Korean player. Yep. Not quite up there with Moon, but right, up, right around there. Oh, yeah. He's like, you know, well, no one's up there with Moon, but... Check is just a legend in Warcraft 3, you know? He's yeah. And we're going to get done a such a great job, such an old school player. Yeah. Here he is, a Hydralisk. And there he is, a Checklisk. A Checklisk. Check. Um, one of the guys that was playing more than anybody when the game came out right in the beta. Yeah. I think he literally had, <laughs> I want to say, like, he was one of the most played, uh, he played one of the most out of almost anybody out there on the Korean server. Yeah. He yeah, was ranked he, number two for a long time out of all the Koreans. Yes. Uh, he started to fall, uh, falter off a little bit here, and he's hoping to prove himself again here in the round of 64 and go as far as he can. I believe he made it to the round of 16, does that sound right? I believe so. In last season. You know, we cast so many games here. You know, I have to say, I have a lot of respect for Czech, more than I have for most uh, StarCraft 2 pro gamers. He works unbelievably hard. He doesn't right. rest on his laurels even a little bit. You know, he was a top Warcraft 3 player, and for some people they think, all right, I was top of this game, I'll just be top of this game. No, Czech is actually like, well, I was top of that game, this is a new game, I am going to play all day, every day. I am going to put myself in completely. And even being a, an older pro gamer, up at 25, uh, he is practicing like these young kids do. Yeah. Like these young kids that we Oh sometimes. my God. Oh God. Is that a guy with a bag on his head? I have no idea. That is actually just like terrifying. <laughs> I have to go. I, I think I'm afraid of clowns. I, I was about to say it's like no, I'm not. it's a very I'm not afraid of clowns. Scary clowns. Stop photoshopping the pictures. <laughs> More guinea pig ones would be fine, but come on. The guinea pig pictures have been pretty funny. Yeah, they have. Thanks, Reddit. Yeah, I was in a you know wasn't always a big fan of clowns. You know, ever since uh, they killed my father. Uh, <laughs> No, I'm just making that up. I met your but, father a few weeks ago. Yeah, he's actually going to be back in Korea in about, uh, about two weeks. He wants to take you out to dinner, by the way. Excellent. You and me. I love to eat dinner. I That's love, perfect. You like food? I like food, too. Yeah. All right, that clown is taking us off course. We're going to get the maps up here in just a little bit. Um, and I think it's going to be kind of a difficult situation for Destination. 
I'm assuming he might have named himself not after necessarily the word destination, but the popular StarCraft 1 map. You know, there was a pro gamer called Destination How was there? in StarCraft 1. I don't know if this is him. I, I don't know. Look into that. This guy is uh, he's like 17. Could be. Could be. U.S. age. So I think Destination was actually know. a very new player, considering it was a semi-new map. So uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to look into that afterwards. You know, there's two angry nerds on the forums. Like, you didn't look into it before. No, I've been casting nine best of threes a day. I yeah. didn't look into it before. <laughs> we have stat sheets to tell us that stuff for us. Not on here. So uh, I'm just going to assume it's a new guy. I'm just going to go out there. All right. I'm just going to. We'll assume it's not a, take a shot in the dark. We might. Well, if the guy has like insane, you know, macro, insane mechanics, and plays like a right. foe, you he might be an old Starcraft one pro. Could so. be. That's how we'll be able to tell. All right, let's look at the maps now in this series. Scrap Station, Steps of War, and Lost Temple. Yeah, uh, well, you know, Steps of War and Lost Temple, those are two maps that Zergs love to thumb down. Scrap Station, that's one that uh, Terrans like to thumb down occasionally. You yeah. know, they, they really vary more in the maps that they like to thumb down. But, of course, the ledge on Lost Temple could be a problem. But we've seen some interesting ways people have been dealing with ledges in this yeah. tournament. Uh, but uh, the Steps of War map might be seeing a cheese from check on that map. Last time he played it, I believe he six pulled, which Doesn't did not work out so well. At all. Well, st you know, Steps of War, it's an interesting map. But, um, well, I guess we're going to talk about that later because the game's about to start. All right, come on, check. Let's load. Oh, no, it's you again, Dan. No, it's not. Oh, must have been the ref's computer. Don't you ever accuse me of that. Me and my computer load fine. Up here in the red. Oh, that came fast. They're coming. Think they're coming faster and faster. I think the Korean announcer is getting yeah. quicker to introducing them. All right. It's more common on uh, the newer players. I think they just and have less to say. Over here in the blue is our former War 3 pro. Known as none other than Tech Lots of people in here. Of course. Slayers, boxers, next tasteless. No, they're here for you and me, Dan. Oh. So Why aren't the they looking at us then? See the guy? Because I'll get back to you on that. I know that we're sitting above higher than them because, you know, we're kind of like the Dalai Lama and we're really important. But ah, okay. I'll figure that out later. We're too awesome to look at. Uh, <laughs> we're too yes. something to look we're at. We're too something, that's for sure. Now, it's a one-on-one -on -one map, so you know right um, right up the bat where your opponent is. So, <clears throat> you see the Zerg scout this way. Oftentimes, they swing it across over to this region. As long as they can get it over there in time. And then park the overlord back here to check uh, the minerals to make sure um, they know when the Terran's going to expand. The next overlord is usually parked somewhere around here. Sometimes they peek in this way to see if they can see what the tech is going to be. And oftentimes it is also placed a little bit down at the choke, like yeah. right about there. Right there is quite good Definitely too. Definitely want to try to see if you can see any add-ons at the choke. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. It's a good place Especially to Especially in it. this spot. Yeah. You basically eventually want overlords surrounding everything Yeah. Uh, around their base to see any drops coming out, to poke in in various angles, to scout, all sorts of good stuff. So we do see a hatchery first build by check. This is the one map where it really is okay to hatchery first. It's not really that risky. Terran has to do something pretty outlandish to take it out. Zerg expands right away. Check has been right on top of um, unique Zerg builds since the beta. And he certainly hasn't faded away at all. Now on the Team Prime, you already saw one Prime taken out. There's not many Primes left. They are going extinct pretty fast. They are going out of style faster than Pogs right now. So hopefully we'll see Check keep them alive. Fast Command Center. All right. Uh, fast Command Center plus the gas. Getting that um, <laughs> a Tech Lab. Probably going to pop out a Reaper. Harass just a little bit and scout what's going on. You know, Reaper is the best way, I think, to get a fast command center up against Zerg because uh, it puts all the attention to Zerg's base and takes it away from yours. Yeah, that's quite true. 
Um, especially when they go hatchery first, because then the Zergling yeah. speed is slower. You know, when Zergling speed is out, slow uh, Reapers are not all that great. That's quite true. And already getting Stim here. I'm sorry, is he, he's Marauder. actually not getting a Reaper. Well, yeah, now I look that's bad. That's interesting that he's getting actually a Marauder first and Stim quite quickly. It's almost like a uh, quick Terran versus Protoss. Yeah. Expansion where you get that Marauder out right away. <coughs> Sometimes we've seen Excuse stuff me. similar to this in TV, uh, TBT. Yeah, time to time. <laughs> <coughs> you all right, buddy? You still sick? Uh, just a little bit. Almost better. Thank you for all the well wishes, everyone. No problem. Not you, Tasis. Everyone else. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's okay. I forgive you. Now, we have... Two expansions, two bases, rather, coming up here, and he's droning up pretty hard. And Czech is getting a Zergling speed right now. Yeah. Which is exactly what you do want to do. Got to have that Zergling speed to react to any threats. We make pretty darn good scouts as well. Marauders and Marine coming out, clearing out those two Zerglings. It's got to be Stay careful, though, with, complete. you know, if... Check figures out exactly what's going on. He might make a round of speedlings and marauders. Um, not really that great against speedlings, especially no. in very low numbers. When they get a little bit bigger, you know, they and you can't surround them as many, you know, because they're in a big ball. They become a lot better against circling. Still not that great, but right now, as is, just a you know a couple of rounds of speedlings could really mess up destination. Okay. Uh, Destination moving out with some lings, and now I'm making a banelings nest. I don't know about this. Well, I mean, it could be good if he keeps making marines, but if he keeps making marauders, mm. well, that is the thing. And with stim already done, he can definitely out micro any banelings. Yeah. Um, well, that's if his micro is really sick. And he has a war three players, so yeah. Check known for having really good micro. And uh, check really wants to do this high economy. Impression. Uh oh. Oh! And, uh, all right. No, he's going to win this if he has to get on the side of the Marines. Yeah, but, you Whoa. know, using two different moves in there, two different yeah. move commands, he took a lot of damage. You actually need to have uh, a lot of Zerklings to do something like that because everything is packed together so tightly with the Terran. A lot of it, you're not getting the surface area on. The DPS of the Marines is really good. The armor of the Marauders, the health of the Marauders, helps them stay alive longer. So that was not a good move by Check at all. Yeah, it be, really it be, didn't help at all. I hate to be hard on the guy, but uh, that was pretty, pretty damn bad. Uh, you know, it's it's I mean, definitely going to make his job a lot harder as this this looks like it's going to just be a timing push comes through. In fact, yeah, he has a lot of barracks tasteless. I know he's got five. Look at this guy. Pretty sick. Three reactors out of those five, so his supply is just going to go up, up, up. Now, Check is actually getting lots of a beanlings. third hatchery down at the gold base, Tasteless. Take a look, see there. And no layer, so this nope. is so dangerous. Look at this. Here oh. he goes, scanning in, going to take thing out uh, the creep tumors. And if he micros correctly He's against non speeded banelings, we may see Check die pretty quick. But we'll have to see. That's a lot of banelings. Wow. He wants to get a squash off sandwich. Uh, uh, the lings are not exactly. He's got position oh with my! Good banelings so far. And check. Looks like he will clean this up a lot easier than we thought he was going to. You know that was a little bit risky. I have to say, tasteless. I think. I feel like if we saw I'm MVP there, it might have gone a different way. Yeah, I think so. I mean. Unit controller micro is just so important in a situation like this. And a check actually might take chase this guy all the way home. Main link's going to the expansion, but there's not a lot of SCDs there because our Terran player is a little bit all in. Didn't really make much of an economy. Splitting up those SCDs decides. Main link's better used elsewhere. Oh, nice. Oh, by the, with the wings. Oh, oh my. At this point in time, it might be worth it to break down one of the walls here. We can keep rallying links in there. You know, uh, check producing a lot of units right now, still not going for a layer. Oh, or, there right we go, just it. started. He's like, oops, layer. There it is. 
uh, killing off the SCVs at this expansion. So check in a really good spot. Uh, in fact, his supply is crushing right now. 33 against 66. Twice the supply. Finally, we're seeing a little bit better micro from our Terran player destination. Command center in the red. Oh my Losing god. Losing HP. These Marines are actually not uh, high on HP either. It's at 70 HP. It's burning pretty quickly. He needs to get some SCVs over there to repair it. He needs to get his feast. Meanwhile, Link's coming charge to the main. And check just running right by, outplaying this guy left and right. He will save the command center. Almost no supply left for our Terran. More I cannot no imagine links. check losing from here. Whoa. That is a lot of banelings. Yep. 25. Uh oh. Ha, these guys are gonna. There are more banelings than there are Marines right now. Yeah. Yeah, there are. It does not matter what you do. Yeah, pretty much. It doesn't um, actually matter. There's one where he's like, I got it. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you don't. Going for the SCVs uh -oh. now. Oh, no. GG. And check. Um, really, really owned that guy, Destination, so hard. That was pretty brutal. Yeah. Destination. Uh, I'm sure he's good, but uh, I don't think he's actually up to Check's level. Well, Check started out a little bit bumpy. He threw away a bunch of lings, and he still won. That was definitely an all-in from Destination. Uh, yeah, he threw away those lings, but the thing is, he had Stim. He just he didn't split well, and the Banelings got a lot of kills despite not having speed against Stim. So if Destination had microed, a li well, a lot better than... We may have seen a different outcome there. It is a possibility. I want to take you seriously, but when I look at your hair in this preview screen, you look like you have a flat top, like you're from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I swear only, I don't. Only, I actually have like a spike. Only when you turn your head like this. Turn your, turn your head towards me. Look at, look at me. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it's oh, an optical, no. it looks like you have a flat top. And they actually, they our preview think, screen is higher quality than what they're seeing, man. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. But everything you said was correct. It's, it's actually, actually, it's actually not a flat top. It's a spike that comes out like this. There it is. It's like a shark fin. Great right. rift of death wherever he goes. The game countdown has started. Let's get ready for game number two.